Hi everybody, today we're testing our heavy duty rock and log grapple. This grapple has main construction of three quarter inch T1 tines on the bottom. They're gusseted with three eighths inch plate and they're also serrated to help grab and hold material. That is all welded to a six by six square tube which gives a very strong backbone for all the structure to be built off of. The top grapples use half inch T1 tines they're also serrated. The unit that we have here is an 84 inch model. We've been running it on our Bobcat T770. We did some shearing of trees here earlier and we've been piling up the brush piles so that we can uh, either dispose of them later or burn them. This grapple utilizes two three inch cylinders. Each cylinder has an eight inch stroke. That gives extreme clamping power out at the tips here. A lot of other grapples use smaller cylinders, either two and a half or two inch cylinders because that's cheaper. But what we want to do here is have a grapple that's uh, very heavy duty and has a lot of clamping force because when you get that material in there, you want to be able to hold it and squeeze it. So one difference between this grapple and our grapple rake is that this grapple has slightly longer tines on the bottom. You can see here from the tip of the tine to the six inch tube is about 24 inches. It's also noteworthy that these tines, we have replaceable series 23 bucket teeth on them. So um, not only are they more wear resistant, but if they do wear out, you can always replace the bucket tooth. Okay, so we've come out to this rock pile on a nice December day to try and pick up some boulders. Um, we have a variety of different size of boulders that we tried out here, but the biggest one is about four feet long. It's about two feet high and it's about three feet, a little bit over three feet wide. And with the density of granite being about 170 pounds per cubic foot, I estimate that rock weighs in the vicinity of 3,000 pounds, give or take. It's kind of an odd shape. But uh, it was everything I could do to pick it up with this Bobcat. This is a T750 Bobcat, so it has pretty good lift capacity. The traction's really poor out here today too because of the snow. But uh, we did get it picked up and moved and um, did a good job of that. With the rock pile here, I just wanted to see what I could do to rake through it. This uh, is rocks that were raked off of a nearby field, and there's quite a bit of dirt in with the rocks, as you can see. And we've had a lot of rain here this fall, so the everything was really wet, but when it froze, this pile was pretty much solid. And you could see as I uh, dug through it, that once in a while I'd hit a rock and it would almost stop the bobcat. So um, I took several passes here to kind of rake this up uh, with the bottom tines to show you what the bottom tines can do. They're made out of that three quarter inch uh, grade 100 steel. So it's extremely strong and it's gusseted also for strength. So um, the tip of each tooth then has a replaceable bucket tooth on it here. And so if this wears out, you can replace it. But also back here is the gusset. So these are what is uh, providing a lot of strength out towards the tip of the tooth. So we're able to get into this rock pile, this frozen rock pile, and dig through it, rake through it, and not have the tines bend. Okay, so we came down to this junk pile down here. I had, there's an old uh, water tank that we used to have by a barn here and an old concrete step. And first I dug into the concrete step and I thought I'd be able to pick it up like nothing because it, it was actually hollow underneath. But as it turns out, it had a lot of dirt underneath it. So it was extremely heavy. And then the Bobcat actually couldn't pick it up. And it, the more I worked on it, I finally got it pushed into a position where I could grab a hold of it. And at one point there, I picked it up and I was, it was, the whole thing was being held up by one tine on the top. It was clamping on one tine. So you can just imagine how much stress uh, that thing must weigh it's got to weigh 4,000 pounds. I don't know, it's huge, but it was hanging on this one tine here, that entire weight, so it was pretty impressive. Um, and then I came in and I hit this uh, water tank here a few times, not very hard, um, because I didn't know how solid it was. There was a few cracks along the top here. The, uh, at the top here, it's seven inches thick, and it has rebar in it, so it's quite stout. And it's actually tapered as it goes down, so it gets thicker and thicker as it goes down the wall here. I thought I'd be able to crack it more, but could not budge it. Um, but I was hitting it with the teeth, the bottom tines, and you could see chips of concrete busting off of it as we hit. Um, 
and even though I was only backing up maybe a foot, I wasn't hitting it full power because it was quite violent inside the cab. It really shakes everything. And I do not recommend you do this kind of ramming with your skid steer or this grapple. Uh, it's extremely hard on your skid steer for sure. Um, the grapple held up fine, but just trying to give you an idea what you know how this thing is built. It's it's not built out of mild steel. This is high strength, grade 100 steel, so 100,000 psi yield strength. So it's gonna it's not gonna uh, maintain a, a bent position uh, until it hits that 100,000 psi. So very strong. Uh, one other feature I wanted to point out while we're sitting here is uh, we have these uh, shields in the outer two sections of teeth and that's to protect the cylinder that's behind there so the cylinder that's closing the grapple so this uh, gives you a lot of uh, protection from like brush piles if you dive into a brush pile maybe a big tree might want to go between your tines well that could rip your hoses off or bend your cylinder or something and so we have these uh, really thick shields welded in there to protect the cylinder area. Thanks for joining us today as we tested out our heavy duty rock and log grapple. Be sure and check back as we're going to be continuing to make more videos. And if you have any questions, be sure to check us out on the website or give us a call.